Okay, hello, hello. Good evening. So well, hello, welcome. Hello, Esther, how are you? I good. Sure. Very you? nice. I'm excellent, very nice. Thank you. And hello, Brenda, welcome. So, well, guys, we are going to start today. Well, it's already 8 p.m., so let's start, okay? Meanwhile, the rest are joining. So before to start with today's class, let me share you. So, well, tonight we are going to finish, guys, unit number five, okay? So unit number five must to be finished today, okay? And tomorrow, well, I don't know if you haven't finished or not yet, but tomorrow we are going to do two things. First, we are going to check the exam, okay? We are going to review if there is something wrong, if somebody hasn't finished, we are going, you know, to review this, okay, the exam. And then we are going to see some topics, okay, in the class as well, okay? And of course, tomorrow, remember, is the last day, okay? Tomorrow is the last day. So be ready, okay, guys? Remember that all the platform must be finished, okay, tomorrow, okay? Is the last day because on Friday, okay, on Friday, they are going, I mean, all the staff is going to be in vacation, right? So that's why you have to finish it, okay? So let's see, welcome for the ones that are joining. Now, let's see, let me start the class today with this one. Remember that yesterday we were discussing about present perfect versus past simple, remember? The differences. Now, let's see, I have here, you know, these sentences, and we are going to guess what is the curve one, okay? So we have the first one, it said, I am hungry, so what is the correct answer? I didn't eat anything today, or I haven't eaten anything today. So let's see, what do you think is the correct answer here? Mm -hmm. um, yes. I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten anything eaten. today. Perfect. Very today. nice. That's present perfect. Very nice. Why is present perfect? Really easy, guys. Because it says I'm hungry. Okay. So dice que está hambriento ahorita, right? Y dice que no ha comido nada. Y que era present perfect. Era algo que venía del pasado y todavía seguía en el presente, right? So, no he comido nada, por eso es que sigo hambriento, ¿ok? Si hubiera dicho, I didn't eat, no debería estar I'm hungry, ¿ok? Because significa de que no comí nada en el pasado, pero que ya comí algo, right? Do we understand a little bit, guys? Yes? Ok. Now, let's see. I have the second one. I have grandma. We have visited or has visited us last weekend. What do you think? Visited or has visited? Has visited. Has visited? Are you sure? Grandma mm -hmm. visited. In this case, is visited. Why? Recordemos que el past simple es algo que ya finalizó, ¿ok? Y en el past simple íbamos a utilizar estas palabras, ¿ok? Que nos iban a hacer como ayudar a entender cuál es cuál. Primero, por ejemplo, yesterday, last month, last year, last weekend, last week, ¿ok? Esas frases pertenecen al... Past simple. ¿Por qué? Past Porque simple. es algo que ya pasó, que ya finalizó ahí, ¿ok? So, grandma visited us last week. Nuestra abuela nos visitó la semana pasada, ¿ok? El fin de semana pasado, ¿ok? No, no dice que nuestra abuela nos ha visitado, ¿ok? No, visitó, ¿ok? Now, this one. Look. Tomek broke o has broken his arm. ¿Cuál creen? Primero, es de identificar, chicos. Si en, en la sentence, en esta oración, 
me está diciendo de que eso todavía continúa okay, en el presente o es algo que ya pasó. Okay? Primero tenemos que ver eso. Tenemos Luke. Tom, Meg. Uh -huh. Has broken. Has broken. Bro has broken his arm. Has broken. Veamos, veamos. Tomek ha quebrado su brazo o Tomek quebró su brazo. Se quebró su brazo. ¿Cuál creen que es entonces? For me is broke. Broke. So, yeah, bro. Tomek broke his arm. Because Now let's... No, it's, it's not continuous broken. Yeah, porque no, no, se, no se le está quebrando, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. No se le quebró. Perfect. Ahora vemos este. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I forgot my homework or I have forgotten my homework. Lo siento, sir, o maestro, o señor. Olvidé mi tarea o he olvidado mi tarea. ¿Cuál creen? Uh -huh. Forgot. Forgot. Olvidé mi tarea. Ok. Perfect. Now let's see. Mr. Siarco. Okay, that's a strange name. Mr. Siarco okay, worked at this school for five years or has worked at this school for five years. ¿Cuál can, chicos? Has worked. Has worked. Has worked. Recordemos que para el present perfect utilizamos for, since, right? That one. Perfect. Now this one, Uncle Tim was or has been in hospital since Friday. Which one? Mm -hmm. Has been. Has been. Has been. El tío Tim ha estado en el hospital desde el viernes. You see? So now we have this one. Did you or have you ever read a book in English? ¿Cuál creen, chicos? La primera dice, um, ¿Alguna vez leíste un libro en inglés? So, ¿Has leído alguna vez un libro en inglés? ¿Cuál creen que sea? Have you. Have you. Perfect. Have, Have you, you ever. Too. ¿Has leído alguna vez? Perfect. Very nice. Now we have this one. They never live or they have never lived in a big city. ¿Cuál creen que sea? Ellos nunca vivieron en una gran ciudad o ellos nunca han vivido en una gran ciudad. Uh -huh. Have never, They have never lived. lived. Have They never have lived. Never lived. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now tenemos esta. We didn't <coughs> clean or we haven't cleaned our room. It's really messy. We haven't cleaned. Nosotros nunca hemos We limpiado nuestra habitación. Es bastante desordenado. No. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, it's having clean. Very. Very nice. Now tenemos Yo, esta. Teacher. Yeah. I thought the answer is didn't clean. Nosotros Because no limpiamos. right now. O sea, eh, it's not continued cleaning. Nosotros no limpiamos nuestra habitación. Es un desastre. Es un... Nosotros Ajá. no hemos limpiado nuestra habitación. Es un desastre. So, aquí me está diciendo de que en el presente es un desastre. Right? Recordemos que cuando ocupamos el past perfect es algo que acabó. ya. Cuando, si yo digo, we didn't el clean our room. Sí. Exacto. Si digo, we didn't clean, significa de que no lo limpiamos. Ok, acabó, pero sí lo limpiamos después. Uh -huh. Pero si yo digo el present perfect, es algo que, ni, que está en el pasado. No lo hemos limpiado y todavía sigue así, ¿ok? Esta, esta frase que está I aquí es la que, nos, la que nos indica. Perfect. Now, let's have this one. Hola, ok, this is a name. Hola, wrote or has written a math test last week. ¿Cuál creen, chicos? Hola, Hola. 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 Hola.
It's wrong, porque wrong. Last, wrong. last week, ok? Recordemos que last week, yesterday, last summer, last weekend, ok? Eso es past simple, ok? Now, guys, okay. let's see. Let's review this one, ok? Quiero ver qué tan buenos estamos en los verbs, ok? So let's start with the first one. Guys, in the chat box, you're going to help me, ok? In the chat box, porque quiero ver si lo saben escribir, ok? So, tenemos right. ¿Cuál es el past participle de right, guys? En el chat box de Zoom, I need your answers, please. Give me your answers in the chat box of Zoom, okay? Right. What is the past participle of right? Let me see. Mm. In, the, in the chat box, guys. I need, I need to see if you can type it, okay? Necesito saber si lo saben escribir, okay? So, in the chat box, okay, Sandra say written. Mm, let's see. What about the rest, guys? Come on. Yes? Come on, guys. Okay, perfect. So, uh, yeah, I have it here. So, guys, yeah, the past participle of write is written, very nice. So now let's continue, let's see. What is the past participle of by, guys? What is the past participle of by? Mm -hmm. By? About. Okay, and how do you, how do you write it? Como lo escriben, chicos? The past participle of by? I want to see if you can write it. <clears throat> B O U G H T H T. Okay, I have it here. So I have perfect Sandra, Noemi, y Eduardo. Perfect, but like that one. Perfect. Now let's see arrive. What is the past participle of arrive, guys? Please type it. I, I need to see if you can write it, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, Eduardo arrived. Okay, Janita arrived. Okay, very nice. Okay. So, yeah, that's the way we do the perfect Brenda, Noemi. Well, there is, you know, the R missing. Yeah, arrive. Very nice. Now, do guys, the past participle of do, what is? Tell me. Okay, don't. Very nice. What about the rest? Don't ever say don't. Yeah. Guys, remember the past participle of do is don't. Uh, Noemi, do you have any question? Yes. Sorry, teacher, esta la tecnología me abruma y me, me meto ahí. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> so perfect. Now, guys, let's see watch. The past participle of watch. What is that? Yeah. Okay, watched. 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 Perfect. Very nice. Eduardo, Sandra, ever. Now take the past participle of take, guys. Take. Uh -huh. Take. Okay, guys, I need to see if you can type it. Okay, Eduardo, you need a taken. Very nice. It's taken. Now let's see. Fly. What is the past participle of fly? This is kind of complicated. So let's see, fly. Okay, you ever flown? Okay, very nice. So what about the rest, guys? Hmm? Fly. Yeah. Okay, Sandra, okay. So yeah, guys, flown, very nice. Now let's see, listen, past participle of listen. What do you think? Okay, Eduardo, listen. Very nice, yeah. Noemi, listen, Janira, perfect. Yeah, that one, guys. Now let's move on and see swing. What is the past participle of a swing, guys? OK, 
Okay, swan, 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 perfect. Okay, yeah, that one, guys. Now, let's see, carry. What is the past participle of carry? Okay, carry it, carry it. Okay, carry it. Now let's see, talk. What is the past participle of talk? Mm -hmm. Past participle, guys. Talking, are you sure? Okay, talked, talked. Okay, yeah, it's talked. Very nice, guys. And the last one, tidy. What is the past participle of tidy, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, tidy. Yes, guys, okay. Tied it, perfect, very nice, yeah. So yeah, perfect. So Eduardo Brenda, very nice, yeah, that one. So well, guys, you know, this, this was only a review, okay, about this, right, about the verbs. Remember, we have different <laughs> times in the verbs, right? We have present, past, and past participle. Now, guys, let's move on. I have here this, okay, this part. So in this one, we are going to fill these parts in present perfect, okay? But guys, this is, we are not going to, you know, um, write it, no lo vamos a escribir, okay? Solo lo vamos a adivinar. Tenemos aquí los verbos, okay? Tenemos los verbos, the verbs that are here. Of course, they are in present. Remember, if it is present perfect, we have to make them in past participle, okay? So we have here the verbs that we have to, place or put in each of this one okay so guys let's see we are not going to do this alone okay we are going to make it in groups okay and each group i'm going to ask in each group okay um what is the correct answer so let me see let me divide you guys in groups let's see let's make trios right let's see okay some of you are going to be with four but well Okay, guys, now you can accept the invitation. You can take a photo on the screenshot, but also let me send you, you know, this photo so you can have it, right? Let's see, by any chance in the WhatsApp group, okay? But you also can take it. Now, guys, please accept the invitation and let's, you know, guess what is the correct answer here, okay? Let's start, guys.
Hello, Jenny. Uh, let me assign you to a group, okay? Let's see. Hola, disculpen, no escuché si los verbos que teníamos que utilizar son los que están en la parte de abajo. Ah, uh, yes, esos verbos. Ambar, um, no estás en un grupo. Eh, me sale que te asigné a un grupo, no has aceptado la invitación. Sí, sí la acepté. Uh, Según me... yo estaba en el grupo. No, let me assign you one more time so you can accept the invitation. Ya, ya me salió. Okay, welcome. Welcome, guys. We are going to wait for the rest to join us here. Let's see. Okay, so now. Okay, perfect. So, 
everybody is here right now. So welcome, guys. Welcome. I hope we have, you know, practiced this one. So let's start, okay, guys? So we have the first one. Let me ask, you know, for the first one to Dina, Ever, Salvador, or Yanira. Tell me, what is the first one? She has just made a pie. A pie. Perfect. Very nice. Correct. Now let's see. Thank you. Now let's see. Let me ask to room number two. Ambar, Esther, Marvin, and Noemi. What is this one? Mickey okay, has mm -hmm. a kiss, a mini. Has just kissed mini. Very yes. nice. Yeah. Thank kissed. you. Thank you, Marvin. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's see the, this one, the third one, to Aide, Brenda, Lorena, and Roxana. What is this one? I maybe I have already mm -hmm. not riding a tractor. I have already not ride a tractor. Um I have no. I have already bought a I tractor. Haven't. Okay, I have a I have already bought a tractor. That can be perfect. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Let me ask Alvaro, Jennifer, and Sandra this one. Mm -hmm. It has. It has not it. It has not. No. It has mm -hmm. not. It. it the okay. budget. Perfect. It has not or hasn't eaten. Okay, mm -hmm. eaten the bone yet. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you. Now let's see. This one is to Claudia, Eduardo, Edwin, and Jenny. Tell me this one, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has he ever what? Sorry. Has he ever? Has he ever uh, sorry, uh, I cannot hear it. it. Looks like uh, the microphone or something with the internet. You look freezing. Anyone else uh, in this group? Claudia, Edwin, Jenny? Mm -hmm. Has he ever? Made today. Made. Uh, but we have already used made. Ya utilizamos made. Uh, okay. Eduardo say, has he ever seen a magic trick? Okay. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, guys. Remember, if we are working in groups, guys, it's because we are there, right? Not because the other ones, right? Now, let's see. Dina, Ever, Salvador, and Janina, tell me this one, please. She mm -hmm. she has never passed she has this never exam teacher this yeah exam. it has a mistake because uh, it's her exam where uh, she uh, has never passed she, passed 
Her ah, yeah, he is. He is. Ah, oh, yeah. Here, yeah. This is the, the mistake here, yeah. Here must her, right? Her exam. Perfect. Very nice to notice that, yeah. So she has never passed her exams. Very nice. Now let's see, we have this one. Ambar, Esther, Marvin, Noemi. Tell me this one, please. Aben, Ryan, Ro. Okay. We haven't ridden our bike for a long time. Perfect. And the last one. We have this one. This one is for general. Guys, tell me what is this one? Don't. Has you ever done a great? Dragon. A dragon. Yeah. Well, in this case, it looks like que aquí entonces tenían que cambiar, right? En la primera vez ser, has he ever done a magic trick? Okay. And this one, have you ever mm -hmm. seen a dragon? So, like this, right, guys? Okay, perfect. Yes, Very it's... nice. So, guys, tell me, do we have any question about this so far? Yes, no. Any question? Yes, no. Anything that you didn't understand, guys? Or do you understand everything now? Yes? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Hola, ya me cuesta eh, identificar present perfect y el past participle. El past participle. Uh, mm -hmm. Bueno. Well, the present perfect, recordemos, okay, present perfect must to be, eh, bueno, el present perfect, recordemos que primero lo vamos a utilizar have or has, y luego el verbo en past participle. O si te referías a identificar el present perfect con el past simple, a eso te referías. No, 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 es, es lo que está explicando. Sí. Ah, ok, yeah, recordemos. Teacher, question, question, teacher. Ah, yes. Eh, prácticamente... Lo que yo he entendido es de que siempre vamos a utilizar el eh, pasado simple en el perfect, en el presente perfecto, ¿eh? present perfect, por lo que veo. Mm. Siempre, vamos, siempre vamos a vincular oh, yeah. esas, sí. dos, esas dos fases, ¿verdad? Siempre que utilicemos el, el presente sí. simple, perdón, el presente es que... Pasado. Perfecto. No, el, el presente person. perfecto con el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Sí, prácticamente, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros estamos hablando, podemos unir eso, que ¿okay? los podemos mezclar, ¿ok? Eh, recordemos que el presente perfecto eso es, lo que es para... Eso hasta el momento. Ajá. Exacto, son para experiencias, ¿ok? Vivencias o algo que inició en el pasado que todavía sigue en el presente, ¿right? Y ustedes lo pueden mezclar con el pasado simple, si están haciendo una oración completa, ¿right? Pero, por separado, chicos, es por eso que lo estamos haciendo por separado, ¿right? So... A, a la anterior pregunta que estamos diciendo, recordemos chicos, primero para hacer una oración en presente perfecto, primero es el sujeto, right? Sujeto puede ser I, you, he, she, y siempre, siempre va a llevar have o has dependiendo del sujeto, right? Y luego después del have or has, el verbo tiene que ir siempre, pero siempre chicos, en past participle, ok? Past participle, ok? Esa es la regla, recuerden. Si lleva past participle, es present perfect, ¿ok? Y usted puede decir, pero yo no me sé el verbo en past participle. Chicos, recordemos que hay verbos en presente y verbos en pasado, ¿ok? ¿Recuerdan? Y también está el past participle. Si ustedes no se pueden un verbo, simplemente pueden buscarlo, ¿ok, chicos? Pueden poner, por ejemplo, sí. Este verbo sí. Y se van al buscador y ponen sí, past participle. O pasado participio, ¿ok? Y les va a decir cuál es el pasado participio de esto, ¿ok? Así ustedes solo lo ponen si están haciendo una sentence, right? O si quieren entenderlo, ¿ok? Ok, guys. Any questions so far? Teacher, o sea, de que cuando nosotros, si le buscamos una traducción al pasado, el past participle es como el ido. Exacto, es como el ido. Exactly. Por Venido, ejemplo, salido. Por ejemplo, tenemos esta oración. She has, okay, has just made a pie. 
ella ha hecho, que okay, hecho, make, que okay, hacer, right? Made, well, maiden, right? Made es hecho, made. right? Hecho. Right? Made, hecho. Mickey has just kissed Minnie. Mickey, kiss, right? Ha besado, ok, besado, ok, a mini, you see? Eso es como, por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo do, que es hacer, don, hecho, ok, I have done, he hecho, ok, I don't know if there is another question, guys, yes, no. So guys, okay, so guys, remember this topic is very, um, it's not complicated, no es tan complicado, chicos, okay? Es bastante fácil la estructura y todo eso. Lo único que es complicado, chicos, que no es tanto, solo es los verbos, right? Porque los verbos varían, right? In past parties, for some, lo bueno es solo aprenderselos, right? That's the only part, okay? Pero a pesar Pero, de lo demás... Teacher, ya... teacher. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que por ahí está la falencia. Tenemos que aprendernos más lo que es los verbos en pasado para saber descifrar esa, esa cuestión. Exacto. Mientras, no, no, mientras no descifremos bien en pasado los verbos, nos va a costar un poco. Y yeah. participe. Yeah, you have to look, you know, for the verbs in past participle, ¿ok? Los verbos en participio, chicos, ustedes normalmente siempre los van a utilizar para el present perfect, ¿ok? No traten de meterlos en, en otro... En otro lado, ¿ok? Por el momento. Solo úsenlo en el present perfect por el momento, ¿ok? Hay otros tiempos, chicos, ¿ok? Hay otros tiempos que en el que sí se usan, pero lo que hemos aprendido hasta aquí, chicos, utilizémoslo solo en el present perfect, ¿ok? Para mientras, ¿ok? Porque ustedes ya saben manejar el, el presente, el pasado, el futuro, y ahora están, bueno, el presente continuo, y ahora estamos con el presente perfect, ¿ok? El presente perfecto. So, esos son los tiempos que, hemos, que manejamos hasta ahorita, ¿right? Right, guys? Todos manejamos el pasado, el presente y futuro, right? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So, it's the present perfect, right? So, guys, do not worry. Mañana igual vamos a estar viendo otro review, okay? Para ver que les quede un poco más claro esto, right? But, guys, now, you know, recordemos que practice makes perfection, right? So, guys, now we are going to practice this question, okay? So, if you notice this question, guys, si ustedes se dan cuenta en estas preguntas, chicos, hay algo distinto, right? Porque se dan cuenta, son dos preguntas que van de la mano, right, guys? Si se dan cuenta, aquí hemos mezclado el present perfect y el past simple, okay? Let's start with the first question, guys. Have you ridden a horse? ¿Alguna vez has montado un caballo? Okay. Y ustedes pueden decir, yes, I have ridden a horse. Um... And I really like it, okay, for example. Y lo otro, did you enjoy it? Okay, este ya es el pasado, right? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did enjoy or I enjoy it, okay? For example, have you ever eaten Chinese food? ¿Alguna vez has comido comida china? Yes, I have. Where did you eat it? ¿Dónde lo comiste? Okay, esto es pasado, right? Well, I ate Chinese food when I was, for example, um, oh, I ate Chinese food last week, okay? Just an example, okay, guys? Y así tenemos estas otras preguntas. So now, guys, vamos a practicar estas preguntas, okay? So, I have already sent you, les envié ya las preguntas al grupo de WhatsApp, right? So now, guys, let's practice this one, okay? Let's see. Let's make shorter the groups. Let's make more. So let's see, guys. Now, please accept the invitation and let's practice. Okay, tratemos de practicarlas. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let me create six. Okay, with this one. So now, guys, please accept the invitation and let's practice. Okay. Tratemos de practicarlo. Okay. Si ustedes no saben cómo responder, pregúntenle a su compañero. Tal vez él puede ayudar. Okay. Y pregunten, right? Pregunten si no entienden algo. So let's practice, okay?
Claudia, let me assign you to a group, okay? Let's see. Okay, welcome, welcome. So let's see, guys. Let's you know discuss these questions. I'm, I'm going to see if you have learned this one. Okay, guys. So let's see. Um, Eduardo, tell me, do you well? Do you have uh, any inconvenience with the microphone? Can you hear me, teacher? Oh yeah, now we can hear you. Okay, Eduardo. So. Now, let me, first of all, can you read this question for me? Have you ridden a horse? Okay, so. Did you, mm -hmm. you enjoy it? Okay, Eduardo, tell me, have you ridden um, a horse? Yes. Okay, and. Yes, you, I have. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Uh, I rode a uh, horse mm -hmm. and I was a child. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Eduardo. Very nice. Now let's see. Hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. Hi, Roxana. Can you read this question for me, please? Have you ever in Chinese school? Eden, Eden, mm -hmm. have you ever eaten Chinese food? Okay, so tell me, Roxana, have you ever eaten Chinese food? Yes, I have eaten Chinese food. Okay, where do you eat it? I ate mm -hmm. Chinese food in. Dragon Dorado. In Dragon Dorado, perfect. When? Uh, the last week. The last week, perfect, very nice. Thank you, Roxanne, I like it. Now let's see, uh, Jenny, hello. Hello, Peter. Hi, Jenny, can you read this question for me? 
have you ever tried the cause of a meal? Okay. What? Okay. So the first question, have you ever cried because of a movie, Jenny? Um, yes, I have. Okay, and what film was said? It's um, Orgullo Perjuicio. Okay, it was I Orgullo. Like okay, perfect, very nice. Now let's see, uh, who do we have here? Noemi, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you read this question for me, please? Um, have you ever broken a bone? Okay, so tell me, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, very nice, perfect. You see, guys, very, <laughs> okay, very short question, answer, sorry. Now let's see, Ever, hello, Ever. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ever, can you read this question for me, please? Uh, have you ever been abroad? Mm -hmm. Where? Okay, tell me, have you? Have you ever been abroad? Yeah, have you ever been abroad? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, where? Where? I... Sería... I... You can say, I went. I, I went in Honduras. No, I went to Honduras. I went to Honduras, okay. Okay, perfect, very nice. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Thank you, Ever. Now, let's see the last question. Let's see, I have the last question for Alvaro. Hello, Alvaro. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you read this question for Have me? Have you please? ever brunchy? Alguna vez has comprado por internet? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Perfect. But have you ever thought to buy anything on internet? Have you ever thought to buy anything? Alguna vez has pensado en comprar algo? No, I haven't. Okay, no, I haven't. Okay. So Alvaro haven't bought anything. Okay. Very nice, perfect guys. Now, you know guys, let's see. Well, we are running out of time, yeah. So, well, sorry guys. Uh, well, because we, you know, we have to check if the person perfect, you know, if we have, you know, if we can handle it. Now guys, let's see. I have this one that we haven't checked it, right? So this is part of the last uh, quiz that we have in the platform, right guys? So, well, in previous classes, guys, we have talked about this, right? We have talked, right? So for and since, remember? So we have this question. How long do you live in Thailand, okay? This is, this is not person perfect. This is past simple, right? And I can say, I've lived there for, okay? For two years. It was wonderful, okay? How long have you lived in Miami, okay? This is person perfect, right? And I can say, I've lived, or I have lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Guys, let's see. Teníamos que, for example, this is past simple, right? Past simple, guys. La pregunta es, how long did you live in Thailand? ¿Cuánto tiempo viviste en Thailand? Okay. Están pasado simple porque... Es esta persona que le estoy preguntando, vivió, right? Vivió, pero ya no, que ya no vive ahí, se mudó. Y en el present perfect, le estoy preguntando a alguien que cuánto tiempo ha vivido, ¿ok? Pero todavía sigue viviendo ahí, ¿ok? You got it, guys. En la primera, es un lugar en el que ya no vive, ¿ok? Y en esta, es un lugar donde todavía sigue viviendo, ¿ok? Like this one. Guys, we have here four and since. Let's, let's see. So for four guys, we have four plus period of time, okay? Vamos a ocupar four por periods of time. For example, guys, for six years, 
for a week, okay? For a month, for hours, okay? For two hours. An example, I have worked here for five years, okay? Four, okay? Primero is four, then the period of time. Then we have this one, present perfect. So present perfect, guys, we use four for this one. You see, she has lived here for 20 years, okay? I mentioned the years, right? The period of time. We have taught at this school for a long time for three months, for a week, you see? Now, since, since guys, lo vamos a utilizar para un specific moment, okay, specific moment. Por ejemplo, since this morning, okay, estoy especificando que fue esta mañana, right? Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, okay? Since I was a child, desde que era un niño, right? Since Wednesday, since two o'clock, ok, estoy diciendo la hora exacta, ok, la hora exacta, no estoy diciendo la hora, ok, estoy diciendo la hora exacta, ok. I have worked here since 1990, ok. So here we have some examples, guys. She has lived here since 1980, ok. We have taught at this school since 1965, ok. Alice has been married since March 2nd, okay? They have been at this hotel since last Tuesday. So, guys, en pocas palabras, for, lo vamos a ocupar para un periodo de tiempo, okay? For, okay? Por ejemplo, no, es en general, okay, chicos? Six years, okay? A week. No estoy mencionando el día, okay, chicos? Estoy mencionando la semana. A week, a month, okay? Y since es para algo específico, ¿ok? Since lo voy a utilizar para algo específico. Por ejemplo, since this morning, ¿ok? Esta mañana, ¿ok? Aquí, since Wednesday, estoy mencionando el día en específico, ¿ok? Got it, guys? A little bit. So, well, guys, now let's see. Let me share you the presentation while we are running out of time. So, no tenemos tiempo para hacer el quiz, pero, guys, let's see. I have here, you know, in the platform, I have the last exercise that we have, okay? So help me with this one, guys. Tengo Pan was in Central America. ¿Cuál sería, guys? A month last year or sería for or since? For. For a month, exactly. Now tengo esta. I've been a colleague student, oh, sorry, a college student, Almost four years. For or since? Since. It's since. Okay. Since almost. Are you sure, I've guys? Been, I've been a college student for. Four. Four. Four teachers. Okay. Now, Hiroshi has been at work. Science. Since. Science. No science, since. since, right? Since. Now, since. I sorry, I haven't gone to a party for or since. For. For. For a long time. Let's see. Josh lived in Venezuela two years as a kid. For or since. Since. For, for two mm. years. I mentioned general two years. My parents have been on vacation. Since. 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 Perfect. Natalie was engaged to Danny. For or since? For. 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 Pat and Valeria have been best friends high school. Since. Since. We have been in class 5.30 p.m. Since. 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 And the last one, the babies have cried for, for. Sin, for 30 minutes. Okay, let's see if we got all of them correct. So four scenes, four scenes, four scenes, four scenes. Let's see, four, four, perfect. 
So we got guys, you see? Four, 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 we got all of them. So if you haven't finished the exercise, guys, you know you can now do it, right? So guys, remember, tomorrow, well, tomorrow, guys, I'm going to check with you the exam. Okay, voy a realizar el examen con ustedes. Sin embargo, chicos, si ustedes pueden terminarlo hoy, you can do it, right? El examen es acerca de lo que ya hemos estado viendo, right? So it would be really easy. But tomorrow, we are going to check it, okay? Vamos a revisarlo y también vamos a hacer unos ejercicios que tenemos pendientes que no logramos terminar, okay? Y también vamos a revisar un poco más sobre el present perfect, okay? Para que para el siguiente módulo, chicos, ustedes ya lo puedan manejar, okay? So, well, guys, now you know time is over, so I hope to see you next week, okay, guys? Next, sorry, tomorrow. Teacher, el present, ¿qué dice? ¿Qué vamos a practicar? Present perfect. Present perfect, okay. Yeah. So guys, Thanks. well, you're welcome. So guys, I hope yeah, to see you tomorrow, okay, mañana. Recordemos, mañana um, vamos a comer la pizza, ¿verdad? Porque es la despedida. Así que pánganle la tesorera del grado. No, kidding. So guys, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow va a ser el último día, right, guys? So I hope to see you there, okay? So have a good night and take care, okay? Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.